we found ourselves traveling to split from Manchester with Jet 2. It was an easy two and a half hour flight, but with a rather bumpy landing. Split Airport is located 22 kilometers out of the city. It's in between Split and Tregear. It was just me, Beck, and Marley on this trip, and we were joined by some friends, Dave and Michelle, from England. We wasted no time in heading down the street and having a look around, getting a nice cold drink, before we headed to Bakra for dinner, while we are in Split to eat uh, really good-sized meals, meat platters, pizzas. We stayed at the Agentum Luxury Apartment. It had three bedrooms, had two bathrooms, had a kitchen, had a laundry, so it had all the facilities that you would need for a stay of a week or more in Split. A great snack to have on you is some Borek from a little bakery just off the Green Market. The Old Town in Split is the most popular attraction in the city. The Old Town is housed within the walls of Diocletian's Palace. Diocletian's Palace was built in the 3rd century. It was built for the Roman Emperor Diocletian. It was going to be his place of retirement. It looks more like a fortress than a palace with its giant walls. Diocletian's Palace is a maze of streets, alleyways and small public squares. In the cellars of Diocletian's Palace, you'll find a market selling souvenirs to tourists. Split's stunning waterfront promenade is known as the Riva. It's one of the more lively places in Split. You'll find people eating, drinking, sitting on benches, enjoying views of the Adriatic, the harbour and the waterfront area. You'll find buskers, you'll find entertainment. It's where everyone goes to eat, drink and have fun in Split. Hey guys, it's the middle of May and we're in a split Croatia, so we want to take a ferry today to Havar. So we're just going to roll up, haven't pre-booked one, don't know the prices, we'll roll up and see what happens. Okay, so this is the lineup to book tickets. We got ours a little bit earlier, so it costs 20 euros each way. Okay, so we've made it on board, the process is pretty easy, just have to line up in the line and uh, show you tickets. A lot of nice comfy seats in here, actually the seats are pretty good, plenty of room. Been on a ferry in Asia where there's absolutely no room in the seats, but uh, in here they are very comfortable. Okay, so we're pulling out of the uh, harbour here at Split on our way to Havar. The ferry from Split to Havar takes you about an hour across the calm waters of the Adriatic Sea. You'll go past some other beautiful islands. You might see some dolphins in the water. On board, there's toilet facilities and a small cafe where you can grab some snacks and drinks.
Havar is absolutely stunning. It has some of the clearest, bluest water we've seen. You can even see the little sea urchins climbing over the rocks when you first arrive at the harbour. It is just beautiful. And that's even before you start wandering the streets and seeing the buildings and the church. You have to go to Havar. The walk up to Havar Fortress is beautiful, but the views once you get there are stunning. On a clear day, you can see for miles. While the fortress doesn't have much there, it's still well built and you can have a look down in some of the prison rooms, the dungeons, but watch those stairs, they can be slippery. Havar is renowned for its historical charm and preserved medieval architecture. The bustling waterfront area is where you'll find all the action during the day with bars and restaurants. If you want to get away from the crowds, take a walk along the beach path. You'll find some areas that are not so crowded where you can get down to the water and have a little bit of Havar for yourself. So our day in Havar is coming to an end and our ferry is about to pull into port for our 7 o'clock trip back to Split. Morning guys, here we are on the promenade in Split, waiting to go on a tour out to see the waterfalls that are near here, so hopefully it should be a good day. Sun's out, it's about 21 degrees. Yesterday the tour actually got cancelled because there'd been too much rain, so waterfall tour, too much rain, hmm. but we'll have a look today and see what we see. The main destination on our bus trip was the Kirka Waterfalls. The Kirka Waterfalls are one of the most popular spots to visit in all of Croatia. They're located in the stunning Kirka National Park, about 85 kilometres away from Split. The day we went, we were lucky and unlucky. We were lucky in the fact that the Kirka Waterfalls were in flood, and the day before we went, the park had been closed for only the second time in history. There was just so much water flowing through the place that it absolutely looked stunning. But on the downside, all the water meant that certain parts of the Kirka waterfalls were closed. So you couldn't walk out on the boardwalks and see the little waterfalls or actually just even see what it would be, see the beauty of what it would be like on a normal day. So I guess we'll have to go back to split at some stage and go back. Okay, so this morning we're at Split Bus Station and we're trying to get the bus to Trigia and uh, it's a little bit confusing down here because there's charter buses, uh, there's also local buses. We were told yesterday to get the 37 bus but we came down here to the station and we couldn't find the 37 local bus anywhere so it seems like we're on a charter bus so there's a little bit of confusion going on but hey we're going to jump on a bus and see where we end up. Okay, so we made it to Trigor on uh, this bus line here. Tickets were about five to six euro each.
Okay, so at Trigia Station, we were able to buy five tickets for the local bus, the number 37. Uh, the tickets are only two euro each. Make sure you find the 37 bus to get to and from Trigia from the centre of Split. Only costs two euros each way, which is a bargain. The bus runs every 20 minutes on the hour. Enjoying some gelato when you're in Split is an absolute must. So we just got to a Cliss Castle here in Split. Uh, we caught an Uber actually from down near the port area. It's a Sunday morning, so it was possibly cheaper than normal. It only cost 17 euro to get up here. It was about 20 minutes, so, but so far the castle looks pretty impressive. This fortress was built sometime around the 3rd century and it sits lavishly on top of a hill, 11 kilometres from Split overlooking the Adriatic Sea. It was home to many of the Croatian kings through the years and as of late became popular again as a setting for Game of Thrones. Like most castles, fortresses, palaces you go to in Europe, there's uh, at Clis you'll find a mix of old, new uh, ruins, things still being found, dug up. Uh, I think they've got to do that sort of model in order to get funding. So we found some brand new rooms in here that look like function rooms, and obviously they'd been work done to for Game of Thrones, but still really a good place to come and visit when you're in Split. This afternoon we're high above Split at Marjan Mountain, which is a lookout. Overlooking the city you'll also find a park up here, restaurants, walking tables. Uh, it's very popular on a nice sunny day like today. The ticket office is across from the bell tower and there are so many different options. I had to take a photo of them. So there's a blue ticket for nine euros and it gets three sites. Children under 13 are free. So if you have a student ID card, bring that with you. The green ticket's 12 euro and it's three different sites. So I think the more important the site, the more expensive the ticket will be. So the red ticket is 10 euros and it's four sites. So it's the Split Cathedral, the Treasury, which are all basically in the same spot, the Baptistry, and the Crypt, which is where we're about to head now. We bought the purple ticket, which is five sites, so it's all of them. It's a, we're able to climb the bell tower, which is what Marley and I want to do. The Split Cathedral, uh, the Treasury, the Baptistry and the Crypt. So that's what we decided to go. Okay. The bell tower climbing will be done later, way up there. Okay, let's go and have a look in the Crypt of St. Lucy. I think you could probably give the Crypt a miss if it's an option to leave off one of the tickets. There's really not much down there at all to see. So now we're going into Split Cathedral. The 
Okay, on to attraction number four, the Baptistry. Okay, so now we're exploring the basement halls of Diocletian's Palace here. Okay, so Marley and I have decided to climb the steps to the top of the bell tower. Okay, we have made it to the top. The 180 steps weren't actually that bad. The metal steps, for someone who has a very severe fear of heights, isn't the best, I'll admit. Can't look down right now, so luckily the views are amazing. We bought this with our combo ticket, I think we said before. I'm sorry, I'm not huffing because I'm huffed. I'm actually huffing because I'm so scared. Marley's made it up here with me. Probably there are the 100 steps all the way up. Very proud of myself for doing it. But boy, my legs are shaking and I'm not looking down. <laughs> so just a little look. These are the steps that you come up. It's probably about three flights of these all up. I didn't stop on the way up, as I said. Terrified of heights. So these are so steep that we're actually, Marley's going down them on her bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think there's two hands, two hands. Aroma make it the most fantastic gelatos that you'll find here in Split. Today I am having the apple pie gelato and it actually tastes like an apple pie straight out of the oven. It is fantastic. Okay, if you need to do Split on a budget, you can come into the local spa, which you'll find in the old town. It has cooked chickens, potatoes, um, all fresh bread every day and a whole heap of different frozen meals just in case you need to save some money. Maybe only in Split can you find a supermarket in the old town that's actually part of an old Roman fortress still with the arches, walls that were originally here. Split was such a stunning destination and we thoroughly enjoyed the week we spent there. It's definitely on our list to go back to one day and explore more of the Adriatic coast region near Split.